how she was doing, how she was looking, how she was talking. All she really wanted to know was a few simple phrases to live by, a few simple tunes to sing again. I wondered when I would finish my manifesto. I had been writing it for years, in fits and starts. The problem for me was that my ideas kept changing. The stage kept moving. The platform was in a state of flux. Living in a state of constant change made it difficult for me to hold on to my ideas. Once I got a hold of my ideas, the time and space would change. This made my manifesto change. I would doubt my theory, and I would have to start all over again. So to this day, I have not completed my manifesto. There are so many that have come before me. Some including, but not limited to, the Dada Manifesto, the Scum Manifesto, Port Huron Statement, the Theater of Cruelty, the Southern Manifesto, the Anarchist Manifesto, Mein Kampf, the Black Manifesto, and so on. But my manifesto would be about the theater. Number one, the journey. If I can define, then I can get here. Once I am here, I know the place called where. In knowing where, I am certain of being from some place. Some place taught me origin. A state, a flag, a symbol. If I looked over my shoulder, I had a certain view. If I looked in the mirror, I had another view. In the rear view, I could see both coming and going as I moved forward. Over my shoulder, I could only see back. In seeing back, I could get lost in days gone by. In looking both rear and front, I could see two views. But in the rear view, there was always that message. Things appear much closer than you think. She thought about a second mirror, and while thinking about a second one, she thought about a third one, and then a fourth one, and then, and then, wait, wait, this is, this is too much about was, 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 and not enough about is, is is, was, is, and so on, 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 and so on. I picked up the camera. I held it to my eye. I recorded what was before me. 
I stopped. I rewound. I played back. I watched. I saw what I had seen. I heard what I had listened to. I pushed rewind. I pushed fast forward. I pushed play. I pushed pause. I was everywhere and nowhere. I was somewhere, sometimes suspended. I was holding the camera and recording time and making history and looking forward and looking backward, pausing on things that I did not understand. Yes, I would pause, pause again, try to comprehend what was before my eyes. Was this magic? Was this illusion? Was my eye the beholder? Was my hand the one to choose? Did I have anything to say? Number two, the curtains. The curtains, the theater has curtains, a kind of wall of fabric that is pulled to reveal the scene. The Met has a curtain. It goes up, down, right, left, all around. Some curtains only go back and forth. Only the world, the world has curtains too. When I grew up with the Iron Curtain of Joe Stalin, I was shut out of the Soviet Union and fear of communists were part of my world. From 1945 to 1991, my theater would be under the gaze of the Soviet Iron Curtain. My theater would have no curtains. To begin again, my manifesto would include the following. I believe in the unities. According to Aristotle, there are three, time, place, action. Unlike Aristotle, who liked the story to be a narrative, my theater would have time, place, and action happen all at once. Call it simultaneity. Some said it was all in the telling of the story that made the difference. Some said 
temperature reading on the barometer and which way the wind was blowing. Some said it was all in the telling of a story that made the difference. Some said difference, temperature, wind, barometer. Some said and which way the wind was blowing. Some said they saw it, some were not even sure where they were on that day. To her, none of it mattered anyway. These little details are a series of insignificance and not worth the telling, the retelling. To her meanings and explanations were for the lonely. Was the door left open? In the process, movement was made toward the door. Was the door left open? the hope. She was in love with time. Gravity was a product of Newton's apple. Einstein gave us a new view of time and space. No longer could we think that the world was flat after Columbus sailed and then came back. Like Brecht, I would use titles for each section. Some call these scenes. The title would be a security for you, a kind of place to hold on to, a kind of time out to collect one's thoughts, for example. Number three is named hope. I will list some hopes before going forward. Debt free, racial justice, COVID gone, water pure, God real, climate fixed, no tax, no greed, democracy, democracy restored. I don't know. What? 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 I mean, what's this all about anyway? I mean, where is... Where is everybody? No, everybody's here, but I mean, where's the plot? Where's the action? Well... Is, what would Aristotle say about this? this well, it is a play. a play. It is a play, Claudia. That would be the first thing Aristotle would say. Where is the play? Mm -hmm. Does it have unities? Does it take place in one day? Does it have action? Is there a hero or a heroine? Is the heroine big enough to fall? We need to see the fall like Adam and Eve and the snake. We have to have a fall. <laughs> Adam, Eve, hey. the snake, Eve, take, and the apple. Take it easy, Eve. Don't eat that apple. You'll get knowledge. You know what happens when you get knowledge. Wait. Feel ashamed. Hey, stop! Simone de Beauvoir will call you the second sex, and you'll be assigned the label of cook, bottle washer, whore, stop, mother, stop, and Madonna stop. lover, and more. There's been an accident. What happened? What happened? Democracy has died. <laughs> Democracy has died, but. The aristocrats got the White House and turned it into a casino. We're in debt. We have no health care. We're homeless. We don't need plays. Culture's out. Gambling's in. Lotto, blackjack, bingo and then are the new occupations. No more voting. No more democracy. No more post office. We are in a totalitarian state of mind. Now it's time for my very favorite song. It is called meat grinder <laughs> it is called meat grinder hey 
Help. Bring on that tune, Claudia. Bring the tune. I can't sing. She had the piano? Donut, donut song. song, just one more, one dozen, 12 plus one. You want the donut song? I want, they're happy out here. Let's keep them, <laughs> let's get them happier. You okay. got that? Here she okay. goes, just one more. One donut, oh, sorry, one dozen. Twelve plus one, a baker's dozen, twelve plus one, an extra donut, just one more, just one more, after twelve, oh, a baker's dozen, one glazed, one powdered, one chocolate, one sprinkled, one Boston cream, a raspberry jelly, a one fizz mark, one original, a Bavarian cream, a French crumber, a strawberry sprinkle, a chocolate covered, another glazed one. Just one more, just one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 9, 10, 11, 12, just one more, just one more, how much, how much, how many more, just one more, I'll have some more, have some more, just one more, if I can't finish, I'll leave them. the politics. The theater for me is about time and space, movement and light, silence and text, just like politics. The narrative is obscured, 
by a multitude of things, and only the historians will make sense of what happened. Emerson said, all history is biography, and I say all theater is biography. Tennessee Williams is Blanche. Edward Albee is Martha. Arthur Miller is Willie Loman. Euripides is Medea. Shakespeare is Prospero. Musman is time and space. <laughs> Pull the curtain, say good night. Pull the curtain, say good night, Gracie. Yes, no, maybe. Call Prufrock, call Proust. Give the revolution a boost. Call the women, call the men, call them up again and again. Revolution, brave new land. Revolution, brave new land. America, America, look to the China Sea. Get Melville on the ship of state. Get Melville on the ship of state as it floats across uncharted waters. Merrily, merrily we go along, singing the row, row, row your boat song. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily, life is but a dream. As little Bo Peep looks for her sheep, the daddy goes a hunting for a baby bunting. Tisket a tasket, little baby rabbit. Pull the curtain, say good night. Good night. Number five, the dream. I'm still working on my manifesto. The first sentence is the hardest. I think you can imagine that. Finding the right pen or pencil was a challenge. I needed one that could write right. To go on then, in my theater you will see and hear things that may not make sense, but these images, movements, words, lights, and sounds will return in the night when you're sleeping. Simultaneity will haunt you, but in the night when you dream, you will figure it out. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe.
Where was she? Who was she? What was she? She was she. She was where she was going with or without the light. She was on the way with or without the light. She could not wait for help. She was in a hurry. Life was a rush. Life was not patient. Life was a hurly-burly, a race to the finish line. And she wanted to be first, not second, or show, or place. She wanted to be, she wanted to be number one. The memory. I was still writing the introduction to the manifesto. Or was it the conclusion? Where was I? Where were you? Where was the stage, the actors, the screen, the field? Who was dancing? Was it Aristotle or Claudia or Oedipus? Was the nation at risk? Was the nation like the supper table? Where would I place the plate, the knife, the fork, the spoon? And what would I serve the audience? Truth, consequences, action, with each course, or would I dish it out all at once? We hedge our bets, the children sleep, we call the cat, the, the cattle, cattle roam. roam, we share the night, the car drives, the car drives. we risk our lives, the, the stairs are short, we name the tune, the shock is awe, Iraq, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, Asia, China, California, Iowa, Louisiana, New York, all places on the globe. We point to them as it spins and spins and stops. We pray for them, those we do not know nor will ever meet. Yes, we do, don't we? Why did Joan not change her clothes to save her life? And so on and so on. And so on and so on. And then some, then some. We hedge our bets. We count our change. We collect the rent. We count our blessings. We swim and sing. bless the feast. We claim we did not know when we did know when we did know we cast our lot suffer the consequence we make shrewd choose the path we are in harm's way every day but we deny it but we deny it we know the heart beats but only when it when it skips or stops or falls in love or out of love and so on and so on. Number seven, the window. The theater for me is like an accident. When I go to the theater, I hope to be like a spectator at a crash. Accidents happen so fast. We slip, we slide, we find ourselves flat on our backs. And then we wonder, wow, how did we get here? And now that you are here, enjoy the chaos, enjoy the moment. She would go near the third rail. She would walk the plank. She would tell them to go to hell. She would shout in public, scream in the dark, 
demand light, rescue the dog, pet the cat, wrestle with the sheep, drive the pigs, dream often, write the Chinese, sell donuts, strike a bargain, pick a bushel of apples and make sauce. Yes, that was all part of doing the work and making a full life. Time. Place. Action. Unities. Unity. Aristotle. Proust. Hegel. Emerson. Napoleon. Truman. Obama. Nixon. Lincoln. Wishful thinking. Gray, blue, red, black, green, yellow. Sound in the night, bombs bursting in the air. Costs of going up for a gallon of gas. A loaf of bread. A dozen eggs. A quart of milk. A bushel of apples. A bushel of oats. A barrel of monkeys. A bushel of oats. Beautiful dreamer, dream unto me. Row, row, row your boat. Sing that, Claudia. Call the doctor, call the dog, call the executioner, call the preacher, call the nurse. I am in search of a painkiller. I am in search of a painkiller. Would the pain kill me or would I kill the pain? Number eight. Number eight, walls. I have to stick these on here because the wind is so vicious this evening. <laughs> I have to tear them off, throw them down. Number eight, the walls. Sticky tape, all right, here we go. The theater has a fourth wall. China has a great wall. Berlin had a wall that divided east from west. Israel has a wall to keep the Palestinians out. The president, the president, Mr. Trump, wants to build a wall at the border to keep the Mexicans out. The theater has a fourth wall to create the illusion that actors do not see us, see them. The TV is a wall of blinking light, pixels that we construct to make the fake real. My theater is a place with no walls. It is a place without walls. What you see is what you see, no more, no less. The theater would be a place to think, first and foremost to weigh the pros and cons, the thises and the thats, and yes, there would be drama, but it would be drama that happens after it happens. You would hear it and not see it. Remember Sophocles, Oedipus Rex, the queen hangs herself off stage, and the king blinds himself off stage. A messenger enters, delivers the drama. In my theater, Claudia is the messenger. Our dreams of the 
past to recognize our future. It's here and now. Do we want another fake apprentice? Do we want another mafia don dressed in a blue suit and a long red tie wrapped in a flag with a bright orange tan? The Washington Swamp is the place to be. Last up for me, me, me. The power grab is right on schedule. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, payback, blow for a blow, payback, get satisfaction, payback, an eye for an eye, and very soon we'll all be blind. Oh, the joy. Manifestos are generally without humor. For example, the Scum Manifesto was written in 1967, and Valerie killed, tried to kill Andy in 1968. The Port Huron Manifesto was 63 pages long. Tim McVeigh's Unabomber Manifesto, very long. The Theater of Cruelty, a difficult text. My manifesto hopes to make you smile. I am without answers, only questions. The manifesto makes claims, but has no cash. The door is open, and all are welcome. I know the difference between a lie and the truth. I know the difference between the front door and the back door. I know the difference between the sea and the river. I know the difference between a ship and a car. I know the difference between the red and the blue. She knew the difference between the left and the right. But what she did not know, she did not know. Her not knowing was not stopping her ability to think. In fact, the not knowing was a kind of freedom. And it let the thinking come clear. And in clarity, it brought a kind of pleasure. And that led to a bigger understanding. And this led to a kind of bliss. And bliss is a five letter word B L I S S. in my room, looking out the window, I am older now, I wear glasses now, I think slower now, I move slower now, but I know more now. I am more history, I am less future now. More often making room for the present, looking for the continuous present, looking for the time right now, looking for the window. Looking for the memory that's pure Looking for the tiger so perfect, so bright Looking for the lion of winter Looking for the lamb of God Looking for the cat, the cat with nine lives Sit in my room, looking out the window. I am older now. I wear glasses now. I think slower now. I move slower now. But I know, I know more. 
looking for the continuous present looking for the time right now looking for the window into my heart looking for the memory that's pure looking for the tiger so perfect so Number 10, the conclusion. To go on now, the conclusion is hard to write. In the Greek theater, there is a deus ex machina, a plot device where the seemingly unsolved issue of narrative is suddenly resolved by a surprise. In my theater, this is not the case. I can offer no surprise, no solution, and no conclusion just a steady stream of light, sound, image, music, and movement. I leave out what it's all about, or I could speculate, propose something like a happy ending, but it is October, and we are witness to yet more surprises. My theater is a stream, come swim with me in the sea of words and songs and flickering images. Roll the dice, light a candle, bet on the gray mare or her brother, Stewball. Here we go. Here we are, waiting, careful, steady, calm, rolling the dice, lighting a candle, betting on the gray mare, in my theater, this is not the case. I can offer no surprise, no solution, just, just a few more instants. She knew the difference between a lie and the truth. Is she there? She's there, okay. Go get it. I got it. You got it. <laughs> so she made me repeat here. This is no deal. This is no deal. Oh, say. This is no deal.
Special thanks for all of you who joined us this evening and helped support TSL's work. Special thanks to Jeff Marks on the tech part of this evening. He does the tech and much more for TSL. And for the production help with Kevin Gilligan. Kevin. Kevin held that camera and made it move on Claudia this evening. Yes, Kevin, and he helped set up these tables and chairs. To Georgina, who's made the chili, and to our board of directors, who we can't live without. For this fundraiser, they insisted that we do something. Cheryl Roberts, Maya Reed, Zuska Kurtz, and Patrick Wang, who couldn't be here tonight. Bake Cashin sends her love. Dan Karpowitz from afar and Kim Bach. Please stay, have some coffee and tea, pastry, wine, and drink all that beer. And vote. And vote. vote. And remember, vote. remember, radical vote. imagination sets us free. <laughs> Thank you all.